Welcome to Philip Futures Market Watch. My name is Howie Lee, Investment Analyst with Philip Futures. In this week's edition, we discuss the outlook of the Japanese yen and its recent strengthening against the US dollar. Now, throughout the whole of 2013, the Japanese yen weakened steadily against the dollar. The US dollar Japanese yen currency pair climbed from 87 yen per dollar at the end of 2012 to a high of 105 yen per dollar at 31st December 2013. This represented a 20% weakening of the yen. The huge depreciation of the yen was largely due to the quantitative easing program initiated by the first arrow of Abenomics. Under this policy, the Bank of Japan doubled its monetary base through a massive bond buying program. This was to spur credit growth to achieve a 2% inflation target. At the end of 2013, it was widely acknowledged that the yen should continue on its weakening course against the dollar. This was down to two main reasons. Firstly, the US Federal Reserve has begun tapering its bond buyback program. And secondly, the Bank of Japan was thought to have considered further easing its monetary policy. At the end of 2013, though the yen was trading 105 against the dollar, Many analysts believe that the Japanese yen would weaken further. Since then, instead of depreciating against the dollar, the yen has strengthened against the greenback on a year-to-date basis. At one point, the yen has appreciated 4% against the US dollar. Why has this happened? There are three main reasons. Firstly, since the Fed introduced tapering, there was huge uncertainty surrounding emerging markets in early January. Demand for the yen increased as investors sought safe haven assets. Secondly, there was much disappointment over US economic data. Speculation that recovery in the US was faltering drove up demand for the yen as an alternative safe haven asset. Thirdly, tensions in Ukraine escalated, which again boosted demand for the yen as a safe haven asset. As you can see by now, the yen's recent strengthening is the result of global uncertainty. This has driven up the demand for the yen as a safe haven asset. However, the demand for the yen might not be sustainable for several reasons. Firstly, jitters surrounding emerging markets are not expected to last. Already, we can see that central banks and governments from Indonesia to India have been shoring up their reserves and have attempted to contain inflation. Secondly, the recent disappointing US data is widely considered to be a one-off due to the harsh winter snap. Ukraine remains the largest risk, but chances of a full-fledged armed battle between Russia and Ukraine is thought to be low. Based on this analysis, we believe demand for the yen as a safe haven asset will decrease in the near future. Furthermore, we also believe that the Bank of Japan may be forced into implementing further monetary easing measures this year to spur growth. Bank of Japan Governor Haruhiko Kuroda recently mentioned that he see huge hurdles in implementing further quantitative easing programs. However, we believe the consumption tax hike due to kick in on the 1st of April this year will pose more drag to the economy than expected. This may force Kuroda's hand into loosening monetary policy further, thus weakening the yen. In the short term, we believe that the yen should continue to appreciate against the dollar as demand for safe haven assets remain high. If the situation worsens, the yen could strengthen to as much as 101 yen per dollar. In the middle to long run, we expect global risk to abate and the US economy to lead world economic recovery. This could weaken the yen to 105.5 per dollar. For more information on the risk and return of investing in currencies, please approach any representative from Philip Futures for a further discussion. Want to win a pair of tickets to our Poem Second Quarter Outlook Seminar worth $50? Look out for next Monday's weekly market watch topic on Philip Capital's Facebook page and post a question that you would like our analyst or dealer to answer. The top three questions will win a pair of tickets to the Poem Second Quarter Outlook Seminar, which will be held on 5th of April. Please submit your question by 10 a.m. on Monday, 24th of March 2014. Thank you for watching today's market watch and tune in on 24th of March on the evening to see whether your questions were picked.